Smells Like 90s Rock presents the Ollie Report, a segment dedicated to extremely professional and hard-hitting journalism. Reports on headlines straight off the news ticker through the eyes of Ollie. And now, the Ollie Report. Hello and welcome to the Ollie Report. I'm Hot Toddy. We are back after taking a week off. Ollie was exhausted from all of the excitement that went down in Cuba over the, the Tupac situation. If you don't remember what the story was about, we thought at some point that maybe Tupac was alive and well and living in Cuba. This was a, a news story that was given to us by Suge Knight, who felt that uh, this was true, although we went down there and uh, nothing happened. Although there's something very weird about the last few seconds of that particular broadcast. Well, in, anyway... Moving on, we are back here this week, uh, and Ollie thinks that he is actually out in the field doing a story. But I have told him just to wait outside in the lobby in order for me to work this up. And what it is, is he's not actually going to be going out in the field and covering a story. No, today is Ollie's evaluation. It's that time of year for pretty much everybody who works in uh, our kind of in our field, and so it is time for us to make sure that Ollie is still on track and uh, on you know good enough terms in order to continue with the Ollie report. And uh, so that's what we're going to do here today. So now, without further ado, here is Ollie. Hello, Ollie. How are you today? Hungry. Why don't you go get some to eat? Already eaten. That's nice. We're not even going to go there. Um, we're not going to go there, Ollie, and I'll tell you why. Because uh, you think you're going to go out and cover a story today, don't you? Hashtag pepperoni. Okay. Well, I'll take that as a yes. And, uh, well, the, the truth is, Ollie, you, you're not actually going to cover a, a story today, no. It is time for your evaluation. Butt cheeks! Right, now, calm down, calm down, Ollie. This is not a bad thing. Everybody has to go through these at least once a year, and we're going to do yours now. Ollie! Well, I know that generally we would cover a story right now. That's what this is about. But we thought we'd go ahead and do your evaluation. Um, privacy? Well, we we considered, Sheila and I both considered giving you privacy and doing this, but we thought it would be more fun uh, doing it on the air. Station! Well, I know, I know it's not right up your alley, but... But Chicks Anderson! Well, he's not a part of this. No, it's just you. Hashtag sports! Hashtag table! Chair! Pants! It's all right, all right, easy, easy, Ollie. We're just gonna, we're just gonna get into this. I see people out here. They're walking around. Well, because you're in the lobby, Ollie. I'm talking on the phone. <laughs> uh, I know. That's that's. Never mind. Uh, let's just get into it. Uh, let's get right on it here. Um, now, what this is is I am going to name off a certain set of bullet points. And then I am going to explain where you are good or bad in these particular areas, and then we'll go from there, okay? I'm outside! Okay. Uh, execute stories on location. Um, well, Ollie, you've not really ever done that correctly. Um, you know, you remember the times where you've really messed up. Like, you remember that one story? When you were in New York, did you talk with the producers of The Daily Show? Did you talk with Jon Stewart himself? Maybe to get his point of view on the whole thing. Computer, jingles, hashtag biscuits. I'll take that as a no. Um, Ollie, did, did, did you did you talk to anybody? I mean, let's let's not let's just get get it out right now. Did you talk to anybody about this at all? Period. Reporter. Oh, okay, okay. So you did. You talked to Asif Manvi, the reporter who covered this story, correct? I can't toilet. Um. All right, Ollie. Uh, Okay, so so you talked to Asif Manvi, correct? And and um, did you get his point of view on the whole story and why the whole hullabaloo of coming down here? I see people. Well, the question is, did you see the right people? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Did you talk to anybody at the Daily Show about the story itself? Lord Michaels. Okay, Ali. Lord Michaels is the executive producer of Saturday Night Live. He had nothing to do with this story. Why? Oh, uh, why did you talk to him? How did you even end up at NBC Studios? Taxi. Okay. So see, yeah, it doesn't always work for you, Ollie. You don't always execute all the stories correctly. Now, I will say that you uh, really gave it your all with the Tupac thing, even though it was a lost cause. And you really do go out on location and, and try to make it work. So I, I give you, uh, I'll give you a two on that. Biscuits. All right. Thanks. Uh, social media. Well, let, let's face facts, Ollie. You've become a social media sensation since we've started this, and uh, the Ollie Report is uh, become very popular on Facebook, despite the fact that you suck at everything you do. And uh, well, you've also become a huge part of Smells Like '90s Rock. So on social media, I have to give you a five on that one. You you really have come out of the woodwork there. Open. Okay. Um, I'm not even sure what that means, and I, I really hope you're not because that's the lobby. There's no bathroom out there, Ollie. My car won't start. You're not in your car. How do you know it won't start? 
All right, you know, moving on. Uh, public interaction. Well, I mean, without a doubt, you talk to a lot of people down there. However, it doesn't always work out a- as well as we hoped. I mean, remember, we had a big interview with Samuel L. Jackson a few weeks ago, and your interaction with him wasn't all that great. You remember that? Listen, Ollie, please don't yeah, say... I-